it known through its leadership council by virtue of the authority in it vested has a authorized and hereby grants the recognition of practitioner of religious science with all honors, privileges, and obligations thereto appertaining. <laughs> this recognition is made at Golden, Colorado and is in full force and effect on the 22nd day of June 2019. And that was the date that, they, that the majority of them had their oral panels. Beloved practitioners, <laughs> you have taken this powerful journey together and arrived here today in the presence of our community to accept the charge of a licensed practitioner. This is a sacred commitment that you have chosen to make, one that invites your personal spiritual practice to be unified with that of our entire community. As you accept this charge today, I invite you to reflect on all that has preceded this moment. It's a lot. <laughs> and to envision your future as a member of our spiritual leadership team. Please rise. As I ask you the following questions, I invite you to respond aloud in the affirmative as a symbol of your public commitment to this charge. Do you, as a Centers for Spiritual Living licensed religious science practitioner, consecrate yourself to the principles we teach, adhering to practicing the art and science of affirmative prayer? Yes. Do you dedicate yourself to your high calling and to the conduct of your office with dignity, integrity, and sincere devotion? Adhering to the Practitioner Code of Ethics, as outlined in Section 7.1.G of the Centers for Spiritual Living <laughs> Policy and Procedure Manual. Yes! A lot of inside jokes in there. <laughs> Do you dedicate yourself to behold the divine perfection in all, and to serve whomever may call upon you in their time of need? Yes. yes. Do you dedicate yourself to a constant recognition of the One Spirit within all people? regardless of race, gender, faith, sexual orientation, or station in life, honoring them however they choose to identify themselves. Yes. Yes. Do you dedicate yourself to hold the highest level of confidence with those who come to you for assistance and thus given their explicit permission to do otherwise? Yes. Yes. And do you commit yourself to the discipline of regular and faithful prayer, reflection, meditation, and continued study, and the expansion of your consciousness so that you may envision and attain ever more effective capacity for your loving service to our community and the world. Yes. And now I would like to invite the special folks that have been uh, invited here to honor our practitioners, honoring Io McClenny, Terry Gilmore. If you'd please come forth. <laughs> Actually, we'll have you stand over there. Yeah, you're going to stay over there. You're gonna, Terry, we're going to have you grab a stole, and then we're just going to invite you to stand behind Io. The best one. Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty sure you did. Honoring Julia Mattis, Garth Davis, and Nan Mattis. <laughs> Honoring Kara Atkinson, Cheryl Eichner. Honoring Kathy Butler, Neil Butler. Honoring Kimberly Akers, me. Honoring Rebecca Bell, Rachel Bell. Honoring Reggie Cole, Tom Cap. Sorry, 
Everybody ready? In this magic moment, in this spiritual moment, as these stalls are placed upon your shoulders, so too do we recognize the mantle of religious science and that being a religious science practitioner. We claim the absolute knowing that when you wear this stole, you are reminded of the charge you have accepted today and all the consciousness that has continued to build upon it. Guests, please place your stoles and share a moment of gratitude. You may now return to your seats. Practitioners, please remain standing as our minister, Reverend Brian Akers, and our community accept your installation. Members of the Oneness Center for Spiritual Living, Columbia, Please stand. These candidates have come forward today and shared themselves and years of dedicated study in service to our community. They have journeyed long and hard to arrive at this moment. However, it is the love and support of this community that will nurture their spiritual path going forward. The role of spiritual leadership is both rewarding and challenging. It calls us to our higher selves and challenges us in our most intimate places. The care and commitment of this community is vital to their wellness and to nurture their growth so that we may all benefit from their gifts. As I ask you these following questions, I invite you to please respond aloud in the affirmative as a symbol of your public commitment to this charge. Do you commit to engage our practitioners so that they may continue to grow and cultivate experience? Yes. Do you commit to reach out to them when you're in need and to invite them to serve you when those needs arise? Yes. Do you commit to support their offerings such as classes, workshops, spiritual consulting, and other gifts they offer to our community whenever possible? Do you commit to honor them and uphold confidence in the work that you share with them? Yes. Do you agree to show grace and acceptance as they learn to move into their new role in our community? Yes. Do you commit to love and cherish them, acknowledging their dedication and celebrating their accomplishments as we care for them and the work they do always? Yes. Beloved Oneness, on behalf of our community, I am honored to accept into our spiritual leadership team our newly installed licensed spiritual practitioners. Please join me as we celebrate their accomplishments and accept the gift of their service. As the senior minister of the community, I'm standing here a little bewildered. It's not every day that the spiritual leadership body of a community more than doubles. And that's what we've seen today. That as a community, the space we've created and the commitment we've provided to the spiritual practices and to the, the engagement and to the willingness to continue to show up over and over and over again. Because it's always fun every time that we show up. Every single time that we show up. It's so fun every time. That we've 
arrived at a place where something new is seeking to emerge, something that is impossible without the bedrock that had been laid beneath it. And it will become something that has never existed before. And as a community, when we find ourselves in these moments and in these positions, where we have the opportunity to recognize a moment like this, to, to really know that in this moment, right this second, that there is some limitless potential yet to be lived out, yet to be shared, yet to be communed with, yet to be given to our communities, yet to be infused into our families, yet to be integrated into the work that we do, whatever that may be. That we show up in a loving, compassionate, willing openness to create. And it's not easy when we're invited to be creative all the time. Some of us are, have a penchant for being creative, and some of us are working on that. Right? All of us looking at who we are as creative beings. And so when we show up in community in this way, we need every single voice, every hug, every pat on the back, every handshake, every cheerleader, every coach every person that could possibly bring forth a greater inspiration to nourish us, to remind us that we are cherished, and to bring forth an even greater and greater embodiment of what it means to live in the heavenly presence of the divine as the reality of our very life itself. And so in this turning point, in this growth moment, in this room, in our minds, in our hearts, and in our souls, I invite us to consider what does it mean for us to be in spiritual practice? What does it mean for us to move beyond spiritual theory, beyond spiritual understanding, and into spiritual living as the very way in which we receive, experience, and engage the world around us? What does it mean for us, whatever our individual concepts or ideas about what spirit, God, or the divine might be, what does it mean to each of us in our own way and in our own right to embody so much of its presence, to accept so much of its commitment, to enliven every aspect of our beingness with its grace, its enthusiasm, and its unceasing expectancy for goodness. And to take this moment and to plant it deeply in our mind and in our heart and in our soul in such a way that we are absolutely, completely convinced that the brilliant thing that will grow forth is already nurtured, loved, and assured because we have taken the time to do so. And so I invite you to please join me in this affirmative prayer. Because what I know is that right here where we are right now in this moment, there is something so divine, so huge, so grand, so vast that we can only conceive as much as, as we try to. And so we try real hard. We put the effort and the energy into expanding our awareness, to allowing that dim hue of the divine that is in everything, as everything that we see in every face to become just a little bit brighter now because we have turned our attention toward it and in doing so it has recognized itself as it is recognizing us so what I know is that we are each completely and wholly unified with it so much so that in every aspect of our mind every aspect of our thought every aspect of our heart of our feeling of the experience that we have in this moment is a passionate and powerful commitment to be ever aware that the goodness that we seek lives in us and needs only our invitation to let it out and so we invite that goodness here and now and so what I know is that we have embarked yet again 
on a spiritual journey as a community out into the waters of the world of life knowing that everything that we discover and everything that we encounter is a part of the blessed journey of our own awakening of our own transformations and of our ability to continue to ever evolve into a more fantastic, more accepting, more loving being than ever before. With every passing moment, this is our charge. So we step into it with complete acceptance, knowing that as we give thanks for each other, for the journey itself, and for all that we have shared, we accept every blessing that has come from it or will forever unfold because of our willingness to continue to show up with each other, for each other, in spiritual practice, always. And so I surrender this to the law. I lay it into the loving and sacred hands of the divine, knowing that as I surrender it, it is released wholly and completely, that I do what is mine to do by simply showing up as love. <sighs> and the love of the world is showered upon us. And so we let it be, and we let it be done, knowing that the journey continues, and that every aspect of it is blessed, held in the divine, and nurtured and supported in complete wholeness, already done in the mind of God. And together we say, and so it is. Amen.